The International Service for Human Rights now has the floor. Thank you, Madam Vice President. The failure of the Council to hold the Government of Egypt to account is contributing to the ongoing violations in Egypt, including against human rights defenders. Ibrahim Metwali was arrested from Cairo Airport while travelling to Geneva to meet the Working Group on Enforced Disappearance. In November, he was awaiting release after the Court dismissed the charges against him, but was then charged again with identical charges and kept in detention. The practice of recycling cases against activists is being widely reported. The Working Group on Arbitrary Detention indicated that arbitrary detention is a systematic problem in Egypt and could constitute crimes against humanity. Seven UN experts highlighted the collective and corrosive effects of Egypt's counter-terrorism laws and practices on human rights. ISHR urges states to initiate swift and effective council action to address the deteriorating situation in Egypt. Meanwhile, in Saudi Arabia, women human rights defenders remain imprisoned for their activism, while those who were provisionally released are still facing charges. To date, no one has been held accountable for their torture and arbitrary detention. Saudi Arabia has failed to immediately release defenders and to implement the calls made by the Council in a series of joint statements delivered by Iceland and Australia in 2019. We therefore urge states to ensure sustained attention by the Council by jointly reiterating those calls on the Saudi government. Thank you very much.